<laughs> it is noisy out there. I'm sleeping next to all the truck drivers. Good night. Last night I slept next to all the truck drivers at the service station somewhere in Germany and I'm continuing my drive now towards Salzburg, Austria where I'm going to meet up with someone who I've been messaging on Instagram and he's going to take me on some fun outdoor adventures. Gotta be looking good on the road. Yeah. I've learned to not feel self-conscious in any situations now. There's people walking past me right now. Probably very confused at why this guy's shaving in his car. But it don't bother me. I'm just living my life. Doing what I need to do. Hmm, my face is nice and smooth again. We're in Austria! I'm in the countryside now. Just parked up my van, met up with a guy called Alex and his family, and today we're gonna go mushroom foraging. Look at this beautiful house. All of that behind me, that's all grapevine. And uh, Alex and his dad just uh, picked some grapes for me, and they're super tasty. Mmm, grapes. On the right is Alex, and on the left is his dad Fritz. And we were about to drive to the nearby forest in search of mushrooms. Everybody likes picking mushrooms in our family. Ah, rain. <laughs> you brought the British weather with you. Yeah, I think I did. <laughs> is really coming down. We are mushroom foraging. My favorite thing to do, I think. We've got three sets of eyes looking around the forest. Trying to find steinpils. Did I say that right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> steinpils. Oh, you you know, you, we know what you mean. <laughs> <laughs> Which translates to stone mushroom, right? Yep. Yeah. In England, we call it a penny bun because it kind of looks like a bun on top. And here, I guess it looks like a stone as well. What are they called? Uh, a fire salamander, maybe. What? No way. That's a salamander. Whoa, no, we don't have those in England. <laughs> That's mad. Oh. No! Yes! <laughs> it's a no. little bit soft, but I think we'll pick it up. Yeah. You can see that stuff lying around. Oh, yeah. I think that's from the pigs rooting around oh. the wild boar. Oh, that's a nice one. Yeah. Yeah, that's a th really dense, thick one. Oh, yes! <laughs> I'm hearing shouts. <laughs> yeah, he's waving. There's one. Look at this! Oh, wow! Look at that. That's a beautiful one. I'm in heaven. Mushroom heaven. Got this knife to just clean up the edges. Just to say you're having to do cleaning at home. It's funny, it's so, they're so different. Like this one, the dark ones. Yeah. And this is a very That's light really one. light colored, yeah. yeah. Have a nice view. Okay. 
This spot here is where your grandfather... My grandfather showed me that. We came in the first time when I went uh, picking mushrooms and he said uh, there's always uh, mushrooms and... And guess what? Still they are. <laughs> They're still here. Unbelievable. One. Two. It's really long. It's got a long stem. Nice. <laughs> oh, look. Another salamander. That's amazing. <laughs> this is what it looks like when a mushroom forager has got to the spot before you. See these bits of cut up mushroom that someone's obviously found one and then been cleaning it. But it's a good sign that we're in the right area. I thought I got lucky, but it's already been eaten. Oh, the basket is filling up. Oh, look at that tiny one. Oh. You can see if it's like that, you can see why they say it looks like a, like a rock. Yeah. <laughs> that has got a massive cap and it's being currently eaten by a slug. Smallest one of the day. One, two, three, four. Whoa. When you find one, sometimes it's good to just stop and then look around. There's another one there, but it's not a penny bun. But there might be more. Oh, I see two. Oh, no way. Look at that. Beautiful. That is just perfect. You can sometimes know whether they're going to be good inside because they're very heavy. If they're light, it can often mean that inside they've been eaten away by other animals. But this one is so nice. Cleaning time. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Pretty one. Wow. We were just about to drive home. Uh, oh! Yeah, over there, that's a nice one. Eh? And Alex spotted a big mushroom. Now this one's a very unusual species of mushroom. That's a cauliflower mushroom. Yeah. They look like a coral or an alien or something. Well, you'll get there eventually. <laughs> what? And these taste good? Yeah. yeah. Smell, smell on them. They smell amazing. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try and clean the leaves off a bit. Yeah, they're a lot of cleaning work. Yeah. Or you can smell it just from standing over here. Yeah. Good day foraging mushrooms. Stein pills, cauliflower. We arrived back at the house and now we had to clean and prepare the mushrooms we had found. Cheers. Cheers to the good mushroom <laughs> <and> harvest. <laughs> yeah. okay. oh. Alex and I cleaned out the cauliflower fungus whilst Fritz cut and started drying the others. It's such a funny looking mushroom. Yeah. 
the penny bun room. So you're gonna dry some of them? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. So these tomatoes are from your garden? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Alex's family have very kindly said they can wash some of my clothes and bed sheets. I'm a bit worried about my bed sheet because it's gone this horrible yellow color. I don't know whether it's mold or excessive sweat. Look at it all, all these yellow lines. What is that? It's been a bit rainy today but we are now going to try and catch a fish. I've got my spinning rod, some spinners. Let's give it a go. That looks like a mess. <laughs> I told you that my fishing gear is a mess. Let's go try and catch a fish. Okay. And we're already at the fishing spot. So there's trout in here, there's char, and sometimes rainbows. Yeah. Oh, no way, first cast. <laughs> Brown trout. Look at the spots and the colors on it. So much fun. Such a beautiful little Austrian town with a river flowing through it. Epic. Oh, it's been such a good day. Really good. We got back to the house to find Fritz cooking up the cauliflower fungus we had found in the morning. We sat down and I had a taste of a number of different drinks, including a homemade elderberry drink. Mmm. They basically use this as medicine. Also a homemade elderflower cordial. Mmm. As well as some local Austrian wine. So that is start, that mushroom yeah. and it's been it's breaded in a beer batter. Oh, you can see the mushroom. That is so good. Thank you very much for a very good day. Yeah, you're <laughs> Before leaving, they kindly let me take a warm shower, which felt amazing after a week of lake washing. They also gave me a couple of bags full of fresh mushrooms, a jar of dried ones, and also a mushroom powder made from a species called the scaly hedgehog mushroom. I was feeling very blessed. Alex's mum cleaned all my clothes, my bed sheets, everything, and folded them really neatly and uh, yeah, they looked after me so well. When I started messaging Alex on Instagram a few days ago, I did not expect it would lead to such a fun day. Alex and his mum and dad are lovely people. They made me feel so at home, which is really nice after spending a week in the back of my van. You know, some sort of home feeling is very good. I had such a fun time foraging mushrooms, catching fish, cooking up some really nice food and yeah i absolutely loved it thanks for watching another episode of my european road trip next i am off to slovenia to the mountains we go wow that's impressive